Welcome to week four of Hanging Out in Hebrews. And as always, thank you so much for being here today. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button right there. And click the bell if you want notifications. And hit that like button too for me. Let's get to reading. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 18 through 29. For you have not come to a mountain that can be touched, and to a blazing fire, and to darkness and gloom and whirlwind, and to the blast of a trumpet and the sound of words, which sound was such that those who heard begged that no further word be spoken to them. For they could not bear the command. If even a beast touches the mountain, it will be stoned. And so terrible was the sight that Moses said, I am full of fear and trembling. But you have come to Mount Zion and to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to myriads of angels, to the general assembly and church of the firstborn who are enrolled in heaven, and to God, the judge of all, and to the spirits of the righteous made perfect, and to Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, and to the sprinkled blood which speaks better than the blood of Abel. See to it that you do not refuse him who is speaking, for if those did not escape when they refused him who warned them on earth, much less will we escape who turn away from him who warns from heaven. And his voice shook the earth then, but now he has promised saying, Yet once more I will shake not only the earth, but also the heaven. This expression, yet once more, denotes the removing of those things which can be shaken, as of created things, so that those things which cannot be shaken may remain. Therefore, since we receive a kingdom which cannot be shaken, let us show gratitude by which we may offer to God an acceptable service with reverence and awe for our God, is a consuming fire. And as always, thank you so much for being here today. I will see you tomorrow. Maranatha! It's rained all week. Could you make it dry today? The sun finally shines. It's too hot, I say. Teach me to be still, but I don't want to sit. Let me be a candle for you. Just leave the flame unlit. Pick me up. No, set me down. I'm ready for more. That's too much now. Help me out, I'll do it by myself. Give me your word, but I'll put it on the shelf. I need more time, oh look a lazy day. Lord forgive my ungrateful ways. 